With the helical lift, the balls need a vertical track to run up. So I made that first. Now they do flex a little bit and that's not suitable for the vertical track. So even though it's not the prettiest thing, I have added a third track on to the vertical track, which keeps it very stiff in this direction, which means if I can set this dead vertically into the sculpture, then the balls will run up this and they won't be going in and out um, due to the vertical track. So that was the first job and I've got that done, happy with that. The next job I've got to do is to centralise the axle inside the helical lift and I've been bending these little brackets and getting it as central as I can, doing a lot of little bits of measurement and I think I'm there, I think this is now running true, running concentric. Um, I just want to add a couple of, I'll probably do three, one at the top, one in the middle and one at the bottom, three little Christmas tree legs um, onto this side and that'll stop it moving, you know, forever uh, in, in the future. So, I am making the Christmas tree. You'll notice I've got my Christmas hat on. It is Christmas 2021. This is episode 25. I am fitting the helical lift. So, let's get soldering. So I am going to move this track and also this track here. So I'm going to do a little bit of cutting. It's going to look really drastic, but I've got to do it and I'll just make new track to go into this place. But the, the important thing is to get the lift in. So they've got to go.
Stop, 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 stop. I don't like the plate. Even if I bolt it down to these holes under here, it's going to wobble, it's going to move, it's going to um, not be very pretty and secure. And the only reason I was doing it was because I couldn't find a way of drilling any holes into the bottom of the wood. The problem I have is getting access to drill holes into the wood with my drill because all of the track is in the way. So in order to fix that and get away from using the plate, I've bought myself an extra Christmas present. It's a right angled drill chuck, which I'm hoping will be just small enough to fit in and down. That way I can get rid of the plate and I can drill holes for the axle base and holes for the vertical track in exactly the right place. Okay, here's the loading mechanism to the vertical track. I've got a little stop on this side that'll stop the ball going too far. And then this right hand track leads into the right hand side of the vertical track. This one stops short and the helicoil will be in here. I've obviously got to cut this off because it's too long. Um, the whole thing was just hanging on one solder joint, which I thought was a little bit risky. So I've added this um, extra brace around the back and hopefully the balls will miss that as they come down. Yeah, they're just bumping over the solder a bit, but looks good to me. So let's get it on the sculpture.
If you've ever wondered what all the clamps are for, then it's basically to hold the copper still whilst just about allowing room to get the iron in. And sometimes it does get a bit complicated. <laughs> 